In this tutorial, we would like to share some tips on using asphalt millings for driveways and parking lots. Recycled millings have become a popular economic alternative to hot mix asphalt and concrete. However, getting a smooth, non-erodible, non-raveling, and non-tracking surface has been a challenge. Starting with good quality milled asphalt that has been screened provides a more uniform material to spread and compact. Millings from newer roadways are preferred over older, dried out millings. These rough unscreened millings will not spread out smooth and will be very difficult to work with as a finished layer. They would work well for less expensive fill material to build the base for your project. Coarse non screen millings will not compact evenly. Large pieces and fines will separate. Large aggregate will continue to grind the fines loose and make them prone to washing and tracking. They will not provide that asphalt paved look that property owners are looking for. Another advantage of asphalt millings is they can be stockpiled and worked with as time permits. There's no urgency of getting them spread or laid as there is with hot asphalt or concrete. We recommend three to five inches of screened recycled milling spread over a good solid well drained base. A good driver can dump and spread the millings in the desired depth you want, reducing the time and expense in grading and leveling the millings. Millings can be spread directly with dump trucks for large projects such as parking lots, reducing construction time and expense. No specialized or large equipment is needed to place and level millings for your project. Here you can see you can use a skid loader, you can use the pulverizer that we have on our three-point tractor, uh, small compact tractors or medium-sized uh, tractors with a box blade, uh, Harley rakes or other pieces of equipment can be used to level and spread your millings. The disadvantage of raw millings is they tend to ravel. The fines tend to track into vehicles and buildings and can stain the surfaces with the tar in the asphalt. Millings are also subject to erosion from heavy rain causing ruts and ditching. This photo shows the most common disadvantage of using millings which is erosion from heavy rains on steeper roadways and drives. Notice the ditching which in some places is as much as six inches deep. Property owners have tried everything from applying waste oil, diesel fuel, and burning millings to get a non-tracking, non-eroding surface with dismal results. Some suggest pouring diesel fuel on the millings and setting the millings on fire, burning them to create heat to make asphalt sticky. This actually reduces the asphalt in the millings which is needed to bond the aggregate together. Also the heat rises and does not actually warm the asphalt to any amount. Adding oil, gas, and diesel fuel to millings actually breaks down the molecular structure of the asphalt and also causes deterioration which allows moisture to enter the surface, setting it up for further failure from freeze-thaw cycles. We've all seen how oil drippings damage the asphalt and create pox and holes in the asphalt at convenience stores or on streets where engine oil drips onto the asphalt pavement proving that the oil and gasoline damages the asphalt in the mix. So what is the solution to re rejuvenate the asphalt in the millings to bond the aggregate in the millings into a strong durable surface with that new asphalt look that everybody wants? <coughs> we believe the answer is Hoxseal E Blend. It's non-hazardous, it's safe for the environment, doesn't kill grass or shrubs, birds, animals, or insects. It contains a proprietary blend of acid, copalmers, and binder that rejuvenates the asphalt and rebinds the aggregate in the millings. Incorporating Hoxseal Millings Blend will create a tight, durable, waterproof surface and reduces raveling, erosion, and tracking. Hoxseal Blend was developed as an asphalt preservative. The first treated asphalt streets were treated in 1998 and still show no cracking or deterioration. The first Millings roadway 
constructed with hawk seal, was in Montana in 2002 as an entrance road into a light industrial site. The road has required no maintenance to date. In fact, hawk seal e blend streets thrive on traffic. Once the millings are graded and leveled, we recommend one gallon of hawk seal blend solution be incorporated into the top three inches of the millings for maximum strength and durability. Property owners in Michigan regraded this street and then applied Hawk Seal E Blend. This is the before photo of their street project that has required serious maintenance over the years, along with a lot of tolerance of the washing and ditching. This is a photo of the simple sprayer setup they constructed to apply Hawk Seal E Blend. It consists of a 2 inch water trash pump, a boom constructed of 2 inch PVC, 80-50 fan jet nozzles 12 inches apart mounted in PVC adapters for half inch thread and mounted 18 inches off the ground. It has a couple valves to control the uh, solution going to the nozzles and also to recirculate the solution back into the tank. The 12 inch nozzle spacing worked out perfectly for them. Here the Hoxio blend solution is being surface applied. We recommend three passes to allow the solution to soak the millings from the bottom up. The first pass will use about half of your solution, the second trip will take less, and the third will take less than that. But by doing three passes it allows you to make sure you get a good uh, coverage all across. It allows you to identify any uh, spots that dry out quicker, which indicates more solution is needed. When applying hawk seal blend to previously compacted or driven on millings, we recommend compacting the millings after the application. We recommend compacting the millings three to four times in the first 24 hours. Compaction can be done with a roller or heavy smooth tired vehicle. This is a finished street after applying the hawk seal millings blend and recompacting the millings on that street in Michigan. <coughs> Ideally, we recommend a gallon of Hawk Seal Blend solution be incorporated into the top three inches of the millings. A disc or heavy drag or similar equipment can be used for incorporating the solution. Hawk Seal Blend will rejuvenate and soften the asphalt in the millings, while coal palmers and binders help rebond the millings to create a smooth, durable, water resistant surface. You'll want to allow the treated milling sufficient time to set up before beginning compaction to prevent running and rippling on new millings. Millings can be compacted with a steel or rubber tired roller or a heavy rubber tired vehicle with smooth tires. Smooth rollers will provide a smoother surface and a better finished look. Oxio Blend softens the asphalt in the millings, which enhances the bonding. You will notice a cushioned feel as you walk on the freshly treated and compacted millings. This cushioned feel will disappear as the millings cure and harden into a durable surface in about 10 to 14 days. Colder temps may add another week to fully curing. Light traffic can begin immediately though. Notice the rain puddle due to waterproofing of the hawk seal in this divot from a parked truck overnight. But during the curing stage you'll want to avoid heavy traffic, heavy farm tractors, and aggressive four-wheelers. And also you'll want to avoid extended parking until the millings have fully cured. Here's a photo of a newly constructed millings road. The millings were placed over four inches of compacted two-inch rock for a base and treated with one gallon per square yard of Hawk Seal E blend and then compacted. Hawk Seal products do not require high tech equipment to apply. Pumps and tanks can be mounted on trucks or trailers. In fact, sprinkle cans can be used for small projects. You can visit our website at hawkseal.com or our Facebook page at Hawkseal Distributing. And of course you can email us at hawkseal.gmail.com 
we'll be happy to send you a quote if you provide us your dimensions and in your project, whether it's for preserving asphalt or for the millings. And of course, we're looking for dealers to expand our business. So with that, we hope you found this informative and look forward to doing some business with you.